Hi you guys, welcome to the vlog. This is my first vlog back after my social media break and I'm so, so excited. And I thought like, what better vlog theme? I don't know. To do a Taylor Swift, Taylor's version, red release vlog. So tonight it is being released at midnight. It's very hectic. Um, she's going to be on Jimmy Fallon and then Seth Meyers. And in between that, the album's getting linked, and I don't know how we're supposed to listen to the whole album, and then watch Seth Meyers, and like, the, the timing just doesn't work, and I don't really get it, but it's gonna be a whole event, and then tomorrow, All Too Well, Taylor's version short film is being released at 7 p.m., so that is happening tomorrow. And then Saturday, she's hosting SNL, so I feel like there is a lot of stuff going on. So I'm just gonna walk you through my Taylor Swift themed weekend. So I'm starting this vlog later in the day. Well, it's not, it's like the end of the day. It is 8.46 right now. Um, so I'm just waiting for Jimmy Fallon to start. And then the album will be released at midnight. I think my plan is to listen to the vault tracks first and then go and listen to the full album in its entirety tomorrow on a morning walk. I think that's the plan. So I think I'm just gonna listen to the vault track and then watch Seth Meyers. I'm gonna ever try and record it in case like, Something messes up. I have high expectations, but I don't know what to expect. So I I want to be ready for anything and everything to happen this weekend because we know Blondie's full of surprises all the time. So um, got all cozy in a nice little outfit. I am wearing my folklore cardigan and just being super cozy tonight. Um, I did buy champagne, but I think I might save that for tomorrow. Got two bottles of champagne. I don't think I should drink those all by myself over the course of the weekend. I don't think that's a great idea, but it might not be the worst idea. We'll see. Like I said, we don't know where this vlog is gonna take us, so we're just gonna see. But while we wait, I have been watching Gilmore Girls. Um, we are on season seven, episode 14. I feel like the later seasons aren't really as good, but I have to watch Gilmore Girls every single fall, so that's what I'm doing. I'm almost done. Also, I am redoing my Animal Crossing Island because the new update, patch, whatever you want to call it, came out last week. I don't know if anyone else gets stressed out about, about Animal Crossing, but I do, and my island's a little bit of a hot mess. So, I'm working on that while we're waiting for Lonnie to come on television and announce all of the red shenanigans. That's what's happening for now. So, I'll check in in a little bit when things might be a little more exciting. <laughs> exhausted. At this point, I feel like I have to stay up. I know. I feel like it's really lame for me to be this tired when it's not even 11 p.m. yet. It is uh, 10.46, so it starts at like 11.30 is when Jimmy Fallon starts. So gotta watch that. Gotta listen to the album. Gotta watch Seth Meyers. Then I gotta get up tomorrow and walk. Oh my gosh. It's, it's gonna be okay. I'm hoping it'll be worth it. I, I know it's gonna be worth it. I just, and I was thinking I should make coffee, but if I make coffee, then I feel like I'm gonna struggle. So, I don't think I'm gonna, I'm not going to. I'm, nope, we'll, we will save the coffee for tomorrow morning. We will go to Starbucks and get the Taylor latte, which is just a caramel latte, so non fat caramel latte, excuse me. Um, so that'll be good. I'm just gonna fall, I'm falling asleep. I'm just, I think maybe I'm more bored at this point and once things start happening, I'll feel more excited. Until then. <laughs>
just made some tea in hopes that a hot beverage will give the illusion that I'm drinking coffee and therefore make me a little more awake. I'm starting to perk up now that I'm watching something other than Gilmore Girls, so that's good. I think overall it's gonna be okay. Yeah, we have like 15 minutes until Jimmy Fallon comes on. Then it's game time, bitches. <laughs> on Jimmy Fallon just ended so I'm going to grab my phone and my lovely airpods and I'm going to listen to the vault tracks until Seth Meyers comes on and then I'll watch her appearance on that then I'll probably go to bed I don't I don't think I I don't have it in me to stay up I have to work in the morning that's just ridiculous it's not ridiculous it's just not for me so she didn't have any other specific announcements on the show except for that there is a premiere for the All Too Well music video tomorrow at Lincoln Center. Um, I don't think that's like anything crazy, um, but we will see if anything else is announced on Seth Meyers or not. I was hoping she would announce an, like a new new album. Like there's supposed to be like a third of like the folklore evermore situation and that didn't happen I was th I, I like was low-key hoping something along those lines would be announced but unfortunately not so I'm going to listen to the vault tracks and keep on keep on trucking keep on moving to the two I really want to listen to which was the Phoebe Bridgers and Taylor Swift song um nothing new yes so listen to that and then listen to all too well 10 minute version and you probably just saw my reaction to that it was a lot it was I almost feel bad enjoying it because I know listening to it she went through so much pain so I'm just like this is a really great song. I'm really enjoying this, but I feel like it feels wrong. It feels, it feels wrong. 10 out of 10 would recommend. So now Seth Meyers is on and watch that. Probably go to bed. <laughs> If staying up to watch Seth Meyers and um, Jimmy Fallon was worth it, but it happened. Can't go back in time. Um, I was expecting another announcement of sorts. I'm not sure. I probably expected too much, which seems about right. Um, but yeah, I was going to get up this morning and take a walk around town, but it is raining out. Um, also, I tried to order um, Starbucks on the mobile app today and it did not go through. It says it's not open, but on Google it says it's open, but on the Starbucks website it says it's not open. So slightly confused. So I might try and head there in a little bit if it stops raining. If not, I'll just make coffee here and maybe get the latte a little bit later. Apparently it's just, Taylor's latte is just a non-fat caramel latte. I feel like I can wear that anytime I want. So we'll see. Also, I was like, oh, since it's raining, I will go to Target and pick up the vinyl. And they didn't have it at freaking, it's not in stock in the Saratoga location. So I'm like, what the heck? 
So maybe I should have planned a little better, maybe not, but this whole red day is not going entirely to plan, but I did listen to the album. It's great. Love it. Love all of the vault tracks. Um, I think my favorite is Nothing New and that other vault track with um, Chris Stapleton. So I'm just kind of work through the day and then I might get takeout later for when the All Too Well short film premieres. So yay, exciting stuff. <laughs> which is super exciting and as you can see I just poured a glass of champagne in celebration for Red Day so cheers to that the all too well music video not music video short film is it considered a music video we don't know very good um so we have two hours until the all too well short film drops on youtube so i'm going to make a pizza drink some champagne probably listen to some more red yeah that's the plan <laughs> First impressions, first impressions on all too well short film, beautiful shot in 35 millimeter film, upstate, fall, all, it's all the things I love in a short film. They, there is a moment when they like stopped the music and spoke and I really, really enjoyed that. I wish there were more moments of that, but you know. I'm not going to complain because it was wonderful and I didn't make it so I feel like I don't have a right to complain. I don't know. Um, yeah, just wish there was a little more dialogue because it was a short film but overall great. I think I'd give it like a 9.3 out of 10. Don't ask me why but that's what I'm gonna give it. I think that's gonna end Taylor Swift shenanigans for the night. I'm gonna do my walk tomorrow, listen to the album. I might listen to this more again, just cause I've been listening to it like all day. Um, but yeah, cheers to a lovely Friday night in with some pizza, Taylor Swift and champagne. So it is the next day. I got dressed and ready for the day. Um, and I'm about to head out the door, and it did not rain today, so I'm going to take my little walk and listen to Red. Well, not the whole thing, because it's like two hours long, so that's kind of crazy. Um, but, so I'll just pile some of my favorites, some of the vault tracks, and enjoy the foliage before it's like gone forever. And, yeah. And then I'm going to go to Starbucks and see, fingers crossed they're open. Um, Google says they're open, but the app does not say they're open, and neither does the Starbucks website, so... 
we will see what is up there get some coffee and get out of here so here is the outfit for the day i have on this kim is my lawyer sweatshirt i got this in the 2xl so i can kind of wear it as a dress have this oversized blazer from H&M, some tights, and these boots from Just Fab. Yeah, very cute. Cozy outfit. I also have some bike shorts underneath of this just so I am more fully covered in case anything happens. Um, yeah, very cute. Really feeling this look today. Unfortunately, Starbucks was closed. I don't understand how they can do this on Taylor Swift weekend. Like, I don't know. It's fine. It's fine. Because I can make my own latte and no offense to Taylor, but her latte or beverage choice from Starbucks is a little basic. Just a little bit. So um, I'm gonna make whatever latte I want. I don't have caramel here, so. I just do my standard like cinnamon dolce with like maple whipped cream or something like that um yeah so that's what I'm gonna do and just enjoy the rest of this Saturday until SNL comes on later which I of course will be watching and yeah Actually, the next day I didn't stay up and watch SNL I decided I valued my sleep more than staying up so I recorded it and I'm going to make some brunch this morning and watch it with a mimosa which I feel like is a really great way to watch SNL I feel like I always watch SNL on Sunday morning anyway I'm not the kind of person that stays up and watch watches late night usually on the regular so the fact that I stayed up Friday night and was thinking about doing it Saturday night, or not Friday, Thursday as well as Saturday was just kind of like a little bit crazy. So we're doing it this morning. I'm first going to take a quick ride on my spin bike and get, get a quick workout in and then I'm going to make some breakfast. I think I'm gonna make eggs benedict. Fingers crossed I can get the hollandaise sauce right, I don't know. So. That's what's on the plan, and then I think that'll probably wrap it up for this vlog after I finish all those things, so yeah. posted a freaking music video um, preview. I guess there's something coming out tomorrow with her and Blake Lively or Blake Lively's directing. So I don't know. 
the video of like cake. Like she's running her hands through cake, so I don't know. But it sounds like it's the music video to that um, Chris Stapleton song that she did, or the song she did with Chris Stapleton. Um, I think it's called I Hope You Think of Me, or something along those lines. I bet you think of me, something. Yeah, so that's very exciting because I that was my second favorite vault track, so very excited we're getting a music video. So I may have to postpone posting this vlog because that's coming out, I'm not sure. Thoughts, thoughts. But anyway, gonna go shower, then I'm gonna go make breakfast slash brunch situation and then watch SNL. All right, so I just got out of the shower, now let's go make some breakfast. <laughs> SNL finished about a couple hours ago and it was actually very very good she was in actually one of the skits with Pete Davidson which was so so funny um, and then she performed the all too well 10 minute version which I really enjoyed you could really tell how happy she was and excited to play with her full band live again so that was really cool to see and yeah I hope you enjoyed this vlog, and if you did, be sure to like and subscribe for more. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching. Bye guys.